Sp- speaking of Arsenal, a uh, story uh, that I read this morning coming out of Portugal is that uh, Sporting are very, very worried about Arsenal triggering the release clause in the next few days for Victor Yulkares. Before we get into a bit of a Liverpool Man United chat, what do you think Arsenal are going to do, gentlemen? Do you feel that they're done business-wise now? Or do you see a really big move in these last couple of days transpiring? What, what is your take on this, gentlemen? I think Arsenal need this. Arsenal just have one final missing piece. And, you know, whether it's a goal-scoring winger or a goal-scoring forward, they need someone who could just put the ball in the back of the net. Because once again, as proven in the Aston Villa game, if Bukayo Saka does not turn up, it's like, oh, yeah, Trossard scored this time, Partey scored this time, but I'm interested in sustainability. Who can score 38 times out of 38 is what I'm saying. And that, for me, is what I have a problem with with Arsenal. So if if Jokeres does go to Arsenal, I think, like, I have already have them winning the league, but I think that just reaffirms it and confirms it, to be honest, because they do need someone like that who can finish, who can put the ball in the back of the net. And to be honest with you, he's... He's literally that. He's just a player who can put the ball in the back of the net. And the difference between uh, Jokaraz and Darwin Nunes is the following. Jokaraz played one season for Coventry in the Championship. So he already knows the league, the type of players, etc., the physicality elements. All of that, he's used to it already. So it's not like he's going to have to get used to the country or the people or the blah, 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 because he's been here already. So um, I think that'll be a fantastic signing for Arsenal. Actually, Arsenal for them... Anyone who could just put, uh, genuinely, I'm being serious, anyone who could score like 18, 19 Premier League goals wins them the league. Like, mm. I'm being 100% serious right now. Anyone. Doesn't matter. Osiman, Jokarez, Tony, Isaac, whoever. You just need someone who could get you 18, 19 so goals. What, what is going to happen to Havertz if I ask you, Osiman? Like, what do you think they should do with Havertz if they sign that? I don't know if, if like, Arteta could develop a way, but currently, I would say, as crazy as it sounds, I trust Havertz more than I trust Martinelli right now. Do you would play Havertz on the left? If they sound no, no. striker? No, no, no. I get what you're saying in terms of formation, you're saying. I understand what you're saying. But I think they will have to, gonna have to find a way. Maybe play Saka on the left or whatever. But they have to find a way. Do, they, do need the goals, problem, they need goals. Do, 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 do you know what the you problem know? with 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 Arsenal or like the fans, especially uh, the club? I think is going to do one one more piece of business. I think Arsenal are going to even make a signing that we never thought of, like a forward signing. I don't know who, but I think the problem with this. Darwin, Arsenal, Darwin Nunes, he came from. I said Benfica something that Nunes. people didn't understand. I actually have a problem with Arsenal attachment to players. They have this thing about validation. They want Martinelli to work. They want Havertz to work. So their takes look good. But for me, I want Arsenal to win the Premier League. I'm tired of seeing Manchester City win the Premier League. Me too. So I want Arsenal to get better. I want Arsenal to get better players than Havertz and Martinelli. I want Arsenal to sign a striker that is guaranteed 25 plus goals. So maybe that's Osiman, maybe that's Ivan Tony, maybe something like that. I want the pressure to be elevated from Saka. Saka doesn't show up last two games. You don't win the two games. Simple as that. Simple as this. And this happened a lot last season, and it will happen a lot this season. And I asked people yesterday this. People said, Mo, why do you want Osiman for Arsenal? I said, do you think the coaches of oppositions... If you have Havertz up top, do they do the plan to mark Havertz out of the game? Just imagine if you have Osiman, do you think the coaches will make the plan to mark Osiman out of the game? I say yes. That's my yes. take on it. I say yes. So that elevates the pressure of Odegaard and Saka. Kai Havertz has developed, has improved. Is he good enough for Arsenal, especially with Martinelli? I don't think so. If you sign Nico Williams, Havers might be good. That's why I think Arsenal need a top player up top or a top player on the left. That is my take. And people said, but Havers can play in the midfield. Well, last season, in the beginning of the season, you weren't happy because he was playing in the midfield. The problem with Kai Havertz is that I am yet to see the guy from Bayern Leverkusen. He's having very good games and very mediocre game. I say the second game he played was very mediocre. Just average player on the pitch, passing the ball around. Mr. That is what I said. In the first game, he was good. That is my. I want a player that even if he's not scoring the goals, be like Holland. When Holland doesn't score goals, he still has two players on him the whole game. 
The opposition coach is making the plan to stop Holland. Yeah, but that's because he's only scored. one player. We're never going to have that on Havertz ever. Osman, what about Osman? There's, there's a super chat about Osman here from Charlie that says, I want Arsenal to sign a striker that guarantees 25 league goals, maybe Osman. Uh, Osman has has only scored 15 league goals, more than 15 league goals once in six seasons. But I think Osman comes to the Premier League with better players like an Odegaard, Moreno, Rice, Saka. He gets, remember, he had one season with a top winger and he scored more than 20 goals. That one season with one top winger. And I dare anyone to name the other wingers that were playing on the other side. One top winger. And by the way, Kabarski is not a creative winger. He's a direct winger. You have Bukai Saka. You have one of the best creators in the world right now, which is in Martin Odegaard. So, by Bukai the way, Saka cut it and cross to Osman Heather. You could see that. But by the way, this notion that, oh, we need to get the player that is ready made. Osman is ready made. Multiple. Uh, uh, multiple seasons with 10 plus goals or 15 plus goals, right? Won the league with Napoli. It's Arteta's job to take him now to be a guaranteed 25 goals with your top players. Aren't you sitting on every stream and telling me that you have Odegaard, one of the most creative? The problem is there is nobody to make the runs behind. Well, get the guy that makes the runs. And by the way, I'm going to say one thing that people don't understand. Napoli, in the season they won the league, they had average 66% ball position. Pressed from minute one to minute 90. This notion that Osman only likes spaces behind because he's a tall, fast player. He didn't have any spaces in that season. They were playing high press football the whole season with Spalletti. So he played in tight spaces. That is my take on Osman. I know that Arsenal aren't in for Osman. You might go and get Ivan Tony or even get a Nico Williams. That is my take. Move on from players that there is, if Martinelli have a good season, if Havertz can replicate the second half. Yeah, Man City won't give you that I, if. Well, if he I, won't. I, I hear you on that. Just some breaking news. Uh, Barcelona have submitted a straight loan proposal, no obligation to buy or no buy clause at all for Stefan Bajetic of Liverpool. So Barcelona want to take him on loan for a season. Interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. I mean, he would suit the Spanish league, to be fair. Mm. Well, I have I have no thoughts on that. We're just loaning out or selling all our youngsters. <laughs> yeah, uh, five strikers better than Oshiman are Martinez, Harlan, Kane, Lewandowski, Jackson, or Nunes. I would laugh at the end. Just kidding. Fifth is uh, Mbappe, who plays as a poacher at Real Madrid and PSG. Uh, this says, "Okay, Mo. Uh, so you're saying Havertz is is good as off the ball runs because he usually ignored by the opposition." What? I don't get. Can someone explain this? I'm sorry. Most of you are saying Havertz is good at off the ball runs. He's not. He's not a quick player. He does. He drops deep and link up the play. He's not the guy to go in tight spaces and make things happen. Every time when Havertz is pressed inside the 18, he doesn't make things happen. Do you guys have watched Osiman? What is this? <laughs> V33 says uh, Mo uh, Mutu uh, needed cocaine to get out. Kessman and Falcao buried their careers there. Uh, but they got lucky with Drogba and Diego Costa. Zola was a playmaker. I think I, I, I think v, I think V three three's point is not they shouldn't sign a striker, but Chelsea fans probably shouldn't get excited about signing a striker because the likelihood is that he's gonna. I think I that's what he means, as opposed to. I get his point. I think he's mocking Chelsea without us. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I think he's mocking Chelsea. Yeah. Gunners Forever says, I think Chelsea's uh, Chiesa, sorry, injury record looks like Chelsea to a dyslexic. Chiesa's injury record is not that concerning, which people make it out to be. He's had a uh, minimum 33 league appearances for five out of the last seven seasons. It's a good point. Uh, we've attached, we're attached to players that have taken us out of the crap. Emil Smith Rowe is a prime example. I am attached to certain players, but winning. Uh, is more important than anything else. Uh, big up yourself there, Tony. You should Havart's... never be attached to players. They get paid to play football for your club. No, I, dis no I, dis I disagree that you can't get attached to players. I think you just need to know when to let go. I think that, I think that two, those two things can exist because I still have a, a feeling of affinity, love and affection for the Man United players I grew up watching, some of the England players I grew up watching, and they, they're retired. Um, I think that, but you also need to know like Beckham was my favorite player as a kid, 
But I just remember we sold him. And I remember saying to my dad, well, who are we signing? It was in the papers, this young kid, Ronaldo. And I, re I remember just having that mindset of, let's go, Ronaldo, new number seven. It wasn't, oh, my... But I still looked out for Beckham's results. Same as when Ronaldo left. I checked. Every, I either watched it. I watched a few games. But I used to check the results. Did Ronaldo win today? So I think you can, but you've got to know when to let go. Uh, Havarts will score 18 to 20 goals this season. Guy scored 13 and didn't play striker until the new year. Played striker 18 times. And he has oh, a higher conversion rate than this, these are all to you. I thought you, no, you were going to respond you. to this. Uh, look you us, you're looking at us both. This is your fight, Habibi. Fight. No, but I, I think the problem with Sky Habit is that He's staring at us, Terry. He's like, this is addressing you, Habibi. Why are you staring yeah. at me? The problem is... No, no. No, my point about this is that I actually still think that I have to have these games when you need him the most and he might be missing. And you regret these games later. The thing about it is that you don't have a lot of difference makers in the front line. Unless someone can sit here and tell me Havertz is your difference maker. I don't think Havertz is the difference maker. I don't think Arsenal fans even think Havertz is the difference maker. They think Saka is the difference maker. They think Odegaard is the difference maker. They think Havertz is good in the link-up play. I want someone better for Arsenal. That's my point. I get you. Havertz has a higher conversion rate. Now, yes, now we're I going am. To the multiverse, He's a false bro. Uh, I, I hear you there. Uh, Havertz has a, uh, has a future as an attacking midfielder at Arsenal. Odegaard slowly transitioning into a tempo controller like Xavi anyway. 